people fucking cooking. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone shut the fuck up. 49ers versus Packers. Uh, what are we looking for in this matchup besides to be hurt again? Um, obviously, you've got the Packers who are, uh, you know, they, they had their bye the week before the Bears game. They snuck that one out. Um, but they, they're out for blood. I mean, they, they have a memory of us doing them uh, dirty in the playoffs. And I'm sure that they would love to see a 49ers wounded team get caught underneath their cleats. So, uh, and, and, and by the way, they realistically could probably be 13-3 at the end of the season, maybe getting them a one or two seed. So they've got a lot to play for. We also technically do, but we're really just playing to survive. So sure. when you're looking at this matchup, um, how do you think we're going to fare? What do you, you know, what sort of matchups are you anticipating here that could be intriguing? Um, where, where does this game go? It's hard to feel great about the 49ers in any game right now, right? Like, it's just, I, I, are they going to play their first complete game of the year? Like, maybe. Is the offense going to tank? Maybe. Like, is it, I, I, the reason I'm concerned going into to Green Bay is the Nick Bosa injury is, is a problem. Yes. And, I am deeply concerned about, I mean, their entire defensive line if he's out. I, I think they would have trouble stopping the run. I think they would really have trouble getting Jordan Love on the ground because they couldn't get Geno Smith on the ground late in the game without Nick Bosa, and Jordan Love is a is a much better athlete. So I, 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 I'm i very, very uh, worried that the 49ers aren't going to be able to get any stops. That's yeah. that's the thing that that jumps out the most to me. Like their offense, I think will figure it out at some point. I, I'm not that concerned about their offense, uh, but defensively, I'm I'm uh, deeply worried about their ability to get Green Bay off the field. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the one thing we have going for us is that it's not get, it's not supposed to be snowing on Sunday. Um, the one thing Ooh. that's yeah, exactly. Uh, the one thing that I would say is probably scares me that is just such a the classic wild card of the 49ers. It's just even if even if our defense is able to get key stops, even if our offense is capable of hanging up 20 plus points, uh, maybe even a nice little 30, we still have the lingering albatross around our neck, which is the goddamn special teams unit. And Jake Moody very much my boy, but, um, you know, I think he and I's professional relationship is a little strained right now. Um, sure, sure. and, and there's just so many memories that I have of, of really important games coming down to that kick. And I have never been more scared in my life. Um, it, you know, truthfully, the matchup that I'm looking for is the 49ers versus themselves. Are we going to shoot ourselves in the foot again? Are we going to find a way to lose? I get so infuriated looking at three out of five of those probability charts. And you just see it just cruising on the 49ers line until that very last second, just a pin, like a needle shoots Brutal. up. And at a certain point, you cannot just sit there being a like a, a statistical anomaly game after game after game after game that speaks to such bad juju and such bad aura. And at some point this all needs to get glued together. And truthfully, it really feels like had we not had special teams be a thorn, like in our foot, every time we try mm -hmm. to step on the gas, we, our record could be su substantively very different. Our odds of getting, mm -hmm. Uh, an important seed in the play uh, in the playoffs could be substantively different. And so that's kind of the matchup I'm looking for 49ers against themselves. But I, ha if I had to get a subcategory, it's the same one it's always been, which is special teams. Yeah, that's um, I, and I think you can kind of tie those two things together, right? <clears throat> it's like, it's been special teams. It's been penalties. It's been turnovers. Uh, and those have those have all been kind of the the various things that have that have killed them in games this year. So yeah, and that's that's kind of the issue with trying to have confidence in the 49ers to go in and win a game is even if their offense and defense play well, it may not matter. And that's that's a killer. I agree. I agree. Mm. Do you think the 49ers walk away with a win? 
No, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to get bamboozled into this again. I have thought every week since uh, I thought they were going to beat Kansas city. Uh, I thought they were going to beat Dallas. I thought they were going to beat uh, Tampa Bay, but by like a lot, like I thought they were going to dog walk Tampa Bay and they sneak out of there with a win. I thought they were going to beat the hell out of Seattle and we see how that game goes. So it's like, you know what? I'm done trying to pretend like this team is going to turn a corner and, and I'm going to predict when they do it. Uh, if they do it, cool like that'd be incredible but i'm not uh i i'm i'm not comfortable sitting here going like yes they're gonna they're gonna clean it up and be awesome in week 12 because we have 11 weeks of data that says otherwise and you know the cruel fate is that you would have you would have appeared uh very prescient with that tampa bay prediction because had all of those special teams field goals been made (laughs) you would have been right you would have been right i mean Uh, come on man I am going to say we are not going to win, which means that all of this pessimism, this mm-hmm. like gaslighting cycle of losing hope oh, yeah. means that we oh, are yeah. going to fucking win again. That's good time. That's good time. It's like you have to pr- you have to be so mentally disconnected that you oh, yeah. have lost hope. They feed off of that. That's when they win. Mm. So yeah, yeah like, I'm, I'm, nobody believes in us, kind of. Thing. Right, right. So I, I gotta, yeah. I gotta throw that, nice. throw that reel in and see what happens here. So yeah, I'm going for a loss that's, that's gonna go. be a win. I and the thing is, is not even just because it's Green Bay. Like Green Bay is good. I, I think Matt Lafleur is one of the five best head coaches in the league. I think their defense is awesome. Their their young core of of players is incredible. Um, but if this was the Niners coming off their bye week. I'd feel so good about them going into to Green Bay and winning, but we have the two games post by that show me they're just kind of what they are. So um, that's what I'm going to continue to believe in. Yeah, and and uh, interesting point by Stevo. Uh, first of all, 40 degrees in rain, true. And by the way, Purdy has like a very unique wrinkle Achilles heel, where like I've seen him throw stinkers in the rain, and he already kind of doesn't look like fully himself right now. Uh, still playing good ball, but just not doesn't look hundred percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. And I, I guess great. allegedly he wasn't throwing passes in practice today. Hmm, mm-hmm. interesting. Um, and also they have Robert Sala. Interesting. I do wonder what difference that will make. He certainly knows Kyle Shanahan. 